morning friends it is about 20 after 9 and I have been up for about 20 minutes I slept in a little bit today it is very beautiful out today just very bright and there's Kindle girl she absolutely loves to lay in the Sun Someday we're going to have to get her shaved again. And my daughter, I call her Kendall's uh, oldest sister, who usually shaves her, uh, recovers from her surgery. Right, Kendall, you going to say hi? Yeah. Looks like my neighbor's over there getting ready to mow his grass, and he's got a friend or somebody over there. So anyways, uh, this morning Don is golfing, and I think I will be making um, the squash soup. I'm going to make some coffee in a few minutes. Okay. Um, I'm going to walk over to the uh, little garden. He did the garden this year differently. And I think he may do this again because he had room in the garden this time. Last time he absolutely took up the whole space and hardly had a place to stand. There's the rain barrel. Those are all tomatoes. And I think there's some peppers in there. And then our corn's just about gone. I don't think we have any more of that. And there is squash. We do have watermelon. But it did real good today, uh, this year, except for the tomatoes haven't been coming on. We have lots of them, and they're green. But the corn, we had, I think, six really big ears. And then the rest of it was just little tiny things. You can see there's lots of uh, tomatoes. Where am I? Where's my finger? Well, I can't get my finger in. Maybe if I do it this way. There. Can you see the tomatoes? Lots of lots of little green tomatoes. We do have some bigger tomatoes too. But anyways, that's it. And anyways, this is some of our wood that we burn for when we use uh, our little fireplace here. We usually just burn bills in it papers yep. and it looks so refreshing under here but in the morning I like the bright Sun we do have a lot of maiden grass that's what these are Those. and of course we've got them on the side of the house we've got the really big one right there well, Kendall, I don't even know if you've gone yet. It's beautiful, isn't it? All right, well, I'm going to go make some coffee and get my day started a little bit here. And then uh, I'll be back. All right, this is going to be an interesting... Uh, if I can get by without phone calls. And... Gonna make some more coffee. I've got bacon thawing here. I'm gonna make these two packages of bacon for my granddaughter's uh, birthday brunch tomorrow. Today's her 17th birthday. And then I'm making uh, a couple pounds of chicken sausage. And her sister uh, is making the brunch and she's making um, 
think I'll get this sugar container out. If I can reach it. Let's see if that will do. Um, for the brunch, and we have about 20 in our family, immediate family, so uh, there's going to be a lot of people there. But... And if anybody knows, I don't know how to get my videos so that they're broad instead of wide. So all I do is just take a washcloth and just wash it like that. That's all you need to do. Just make sure you got all the dirt off. And it is coming off. To wash my Carrots are store bought, but the squash has dirt on it from the garden. Still need to wipe off your carrots. Anyways, after I got done talking to my daughter, uh, my aunt called. She's 89. She's the last relative I have of that generation. And we had a very nice conversation about all kinds of things. But we ended up on cars. Her husband, who is now gone past, and her son, who is now retired, he, uh, they were into cars. Uh, fixing cars, restoring cars, like Model T's and Model A's and Thunderbirds, or uh, not Thunderbirds, uh, Oh, some, some of the sports cars. I can't remember the names of them now. I think one of them might have been a Thunderbird, though. Mustang. Mustang. That's it. And my uh, third granddaughter, her boyfriend, is going to school for auto mechanic. He does what he can, but you know, a lot of auto mechanics are definitely specialized now. They have to go to school, which he's going to go to school for two years. I don't know what he's going to be working on. I'll ask him tomorrow at the uh, brunch. And we were just talking about how, you know, used to be my uncle and my cousin would just get under the bonnet of a car and uh, you know fix it and I have a PT cruiser it's 18 years old now because, you know sorry about that noise you know they don't make PT cruisers now and I think I have a very good mechanic but I think every time I have to have something fixed he, he moans because PT Cruiser is very front heavy, very compact engine, and so you just have to about take out everything in order to um, fix anything. And like one time in the last couple years, they had to replace a big fan, and I didn't realize those fans are like this, and there's two of them. Well, they had to practically take the whole engine apart to get the old fan out and put the new one in. And then something else went wrong. And what he needed was screws that would fit in inside the engine. So what he had to do was, and, and this isn't the first time he's had to do it, he has to go to a junkyard and... Um, take a PT Cruiser apart there in order to uh, get what they need out of it. So it's like taking two cars apart. And all he needed was some screws because the screws had rusted through on something. I don't know what it was now, but he just felt like he had done two jobs and of course he could only charge me for I think he did charge me $25 for the retrieval of the screws. <laughs> it was okay. I didn't have to do it or find it or locate it or anything. <laughs> oh, so anyways, 
my 89 year old aunt and I just had a good time talking and we're talking about travel because I don't travel very well for a number of reasons the biggest reason is uh, congestive heart failure because I swell and then I have to take I take a very very large dose of Lasix so to be confined someplace when you gotta go to the bathroom all the time and then you're gonna swell uh, it's very hard to travel um, and then she doesn't travel anymore for a few reasons, health reasons. She's got a friend coming in that her best friend that moved out to Florida. Uh, about three, three years ago, I think, and she hasn't seen her since. She's coming back into town. She's just so excited because her friend says, "When are you coming to see me?" And she said, "Never." kind of sounds like me. I know our kids like to go on family, you know, the large extended family vacations. And I went the last time, which was okay, but I have a real problem with uh, just being on the road. And again, that's a, that's a brain thing. I think things are flying at me when they're not. I've had all the tests and everything run to look into that. And so what I basically do, rather than take medication for it, is I just choose to only go, like when we went to my son yesterday, I know for most people that would be no big deal. For me it was very nerve wracking. And it ends up being nerve-wracking for my husband because he knows I'm nervous. Oh, I don't know. Life, life, life. You gotta cope with it, though. Just like we're gonna go to Kings Island this afternoon when he gets back to golf. Hopefully the soup is at least cooling down. You use an immersion blender, so this is an extremely creamy soup. And I put, right now it's just onion, carrot, and the squash. And I do put um, all kinds of spices. And, boy, that refrigerator's noisy. It just went off. Uh, for a thickening agent, I use uh, uh, grated Parmesan cheese that you get in a can because that has a thickening agent in it. And it works great. It really does. I'll show you. So it's getting full, but I got two more. But as you uh, squash kind of melts, not melts, but it's very liquidy, so it goes down. Oh, I had one can of uh, chicken broth while it's cooking, and the rest water. It's really a delicious recipe. <laughs> oh, I can't say enough about it. One of my friends said something about you need to pick something you're interested in and and just kind of do it for, you know, a hobby. I said, well, I think I'll pick YouTube. I really only work off of my camera, which, I, like I said, I wish I knew how to make it full screen. I'm going to see if anybody knows but it's probably what the program I use and I can't remember the name of the program right now I know I had a full screen before and I didn't have my phone sideways so I don't know I don't know what I'm doing
I don't think I can get another one in here. This is going to be it. Yeah, this is going to be it. So this one is going to have to wait. What I can do with that one is chop it up and uh, slice it up. I'll show you. Well, I've got some strips there, and then I've got circles, semicircles here. And then, while I was showing you the frozen squash, so when I go to make a smoothie, I just take out, uh, I don't know, half a cup or to a cup, and I can add that to my smoothie. And right now, I'm in my garage getting some. This is where we store I don't have a pantry or anything. That's all we've got. But getting my chicken broth. So put that in and put my spices. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, I've already got, I think, 11 minutes on this. And I haven't even finished it. So I guess I'm going to have to quit yakking so much. So I will see you a little later. I'm going to put the chicken broth. I'll tell you my spices later. And when it's done cooking, I'll show it to you.